right, today's Sunday, May 1st, 2022, and it's a one-man show here today. I'm going to put some a few hours in on welding up this frame. Uh, yesterday, uh, Bobby Bobby started on it. I didn't do a whole lot of recording on that because he was working on the 68, but uh, so far, here's what he's got. Looks like he got this whole front, passenger front side, and driver front side. Got around the carrier bearing started back here so I think today I'm gonna maybe do a little bit in the back see how see where see how far we get today not not too stressful today just gonna maybe do a little bit around the front here we'll see so so far the welders acting good ran out of gas yesterday on one bottle so I gotta hook up the other bottle but like I say, we're not really doing a whole lot of recording on this because it's it's pretty uh, repetitive. But I will document the progress at least. So bring you guys back a couple hours here. So here we are, about four hours later. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Did a little bit around the front. Got these welded in. Started on some of the spring pocket. Other side the same. Uh, I got all of the back. Well, most all the back both sides just got to do that little section right there on both sides and then just to see what what we're going to look like i went ahead and started molding on the the tunnel cut out so basically this is what the whole frame is going to look like uh in a couple weeks uh, some of these areas are having to get multiple passes because of the gap for example right there that's it's, it's about four passes So it ain't really nothing pretty to look at now, but it's getting there. So I'm going to continue this throughout the week here, just a couple hours a day, until I get this whole bottom half welded up and then flip it over. So I'll bring you guys back. Right, it's Saturday, May 7th, 2022. And I've been putting work in on this frame all week, uh, about three hours a day during the week. I put about five yesterday. Uh, the bottom half or the bottom, the bottom side is, is completely welded, not grinded down, just welded. Yesterday, I got most of this top half. Cleaned that up a little bit. I, I kind of like the way that turned out. All the way up to here so kind of plugging away I'm not really doing a whole lot of recording on this because it's it's kind of like I said previously it's same old stuff so with well, today's plan I'm gonna put a few hours in this morning and I plan to get this cross member welded up or at least around the front top and see see where we're at after that uh, I'm gonna put a lot of work in tomorrow on Sunday and on Monday I took a vacation day Monday my goal is to have this thing completely welded up by Monday night. We'll see. I got plenty of wire. I got plenty of gas. So just a matter to do it. And then once we do that, take it off the rotisserie and do the rear. Um, still need to buy some steel for the cross member. Or not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it molds. But that's today's goal. It's supposed to be 95 degrees outside, which means about 105 in here. Welding. It's extremely hot. But we're gonna get it done. So bring you guys back once we get some work in. All right, here we are at the end of the day. I end up putting about oh maybe four hours in it, and I got it quite a lot done. Uh, of course, it's not anywhere near done yet. But started on the X over here, got the tops. Started on the body mount there. I got to chop that off a little bit. Got around the A arms. Chop that down a little bit right there. Got the cross member. Chop that down a little bit right there. 
Still got to cut the front of the cross member right there. It's coming along. So tomorrow I'll be back out here again and I think I can get the, the, the back half top side all done tomorrow. Uh, I think I think that's a good goal. So after that, uh, focus on the body mounts more, uh, and then start grinding it down and see what we got. I, I know there's going to need some more passing, some more some more touch up here and there, but I'm not really sweating the overall look. I mean, I'm gonna do my best, but I think I'm gonna mold it with some with some filler on the edges a little bit before I paint it. So bring you guys back tomorrow all right today's monday may 9th 2022 it's monday afternoon and i got about 95 percent of this thing welded up uh i guess i forgot there i just noticed that but front to back top and bottom it's all welded up i deleted the uh fuel pump section I guess you want to call it because I'm not running a small block so I don't need that so I uh, hit this thing hard three days in a row uh, so next up I started on the body mounts trying to trying to mold them and make them look pretty got the spring pocket I haven't really started molding it yet just just certain areas just to get an idea of where it's at so what what's going to need is it's going to need the whole thing grind down and there's going to be some voids and some pinholes because i'm not the best welder but i can go back over them real quick and finish them off uh, tomorrow what i plan to do is put these last few pieces on in the rear test fit the back bumper weld the nuts in and then cap them off and uh make sure the bumper fits still that's tomorrow's plan after that I think it's start it's ready to start grinding uh, I have to move it outside this thing makes a huge mess a lot of grinding but it's getting there I think I'm gonna end up painting this uh, we'll see we'll see how it grinds down and see how much more work it is uh, like I say, it's the frame, so nobody's ever going to see it, but I do want to get it the best of my ability. So, I don't know where I stopped recording last time, but still need to cap off the body mounts, make them round like I did on the other side. Kind of finish this one off a little bit. So, bring you guys back once I start fit test fitting the rear bumper.